Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood teen librarian. And if you are watching this video, then that means you picked the Scarab treasure box for your Trash Panda treasure. And what did you get in your box? You got a treasure box, a wooden little treasure chest. Uh, you got two scraps of small velvet, which will line the top and the bottom of your treasure chest. A golden scarab, hence the name. Very cool beetle 3D print that'll fit right on the top. Um, you should have two uh, pieces of glue dots, so four strips, and those are going to help the scarab stay on and the velvet. Black paint, paintbrush, and a gold paint marker, which you can use to mark over uh, the black paint. So the first thing you're going to want to do is lay down a paper towel or some newspaper and just start painting your treasure chest. This stuff actually dries really quickly, so it won't take you too long to go ahead and paint the whole outside. You can do two coats if you want it to be really dark. If you're impatient, you can do only one, totally up to you. As long as you keep your paintbrush kind of flat when you go close to those hinges, it should go around them pretty easily. I'm gonna get in the back edges of this real quick. And once you kind of have all the sides and the top done, I'm just going to set that down and let it dry. Like I said, shouldn't take very long. Okay, once that is dry, you can touch it, no paint comes off. Now I'm going to do the insides. I'm not going to do the top of the lid and the bottom because those are going to be covered up by the velvet anyway. But the inside sides, I will go ahead and paint. Um, and again, if you just kind of keep your brush flat, you can use the rectangle shape of the brush. Um, it should let you paint on pretty even coats all the way around. And again, kind of up to you if you want to do one coat or two. Two makes it super dark, but if you're not that patient, that's okay. All right, I think that's looking pretty good. So I'm going to let that dry set that down. Once it's dry, we can move on to our velvet pieces. So you're going to take one of the glue dots, which should have two strips of glue, and we are going to use it. If you take them apart, there should be one glue dot on each plastic piece. You can lay it against the back of the 3D print, and that plastic should come off pretty easily. Let's see if I can get the glare on there so you guys can see once I get those on. So I've got one on each side, press down, take that plastic off, and then you can set it right on the top. Press it down for a little while, and that should adhere those glue dots pretty good. Then we're going to take the other two glue dots, and we're kind of going to do the same thing. This one's a little trickier, logistically speaking, because the lid is pretty tiny. And it doesn't want to stick to the wood quite as nicely, so you may have to hold the edge of the glue dot down while you're taking the plastic off. Once you've got that in there, set one side, the left side of that velvet rectangle in there, lay it down flat, and you can kind of press down to get it to adhere to the glue dot. And that's for the lid. And I didn't give you one for the bottom because it's the bottom and chances are it'll stay put on its own just fine. If it's a little big, you can trim it with some regular scissors. Once those are in, we're gonna do our paint marker. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Uh, take off the lid. See that white tip? We're gonna press it in a little bit and you should be able to watch the paint just kind of go right down and fill that tip until it's the same color as the paint in the paint marker. I'm gonna do the edges of my box. You can do these black, you don't have to do them gold. I just thought it would look kind of cool when you open it up and see the two different shades of gold. Because it is a paint marker, it will go over the top of any spots where your black paint spilled over, which is kind of nice. You can also use it on the black paint of the box if you wanna put dots or your name, keep out, whatever you wanna put on there. Draw more scarabs your box you should make it look how you want and when you are finished you have your very own treasure box 
to keep any small treasures in. Thank you guys for following along. I hope this was enjoyable for you. As you may have noticed when you went looking through your boxes, I don't have an order form for August. A couple of reasons for that. We're taking a little bit of a break. Um, and that is because in September, we really hope we're gonna be going back to in-person programs, which means our anime club is gonna be coming back, Fandom Fridays. We're gonna be having a teen steam afternoon once a month. And we're also gonna be having a crafter noon once a month. The good news is we're still gonna keep having subscription boxes, but I need some input from you guys on what type of things you would wanna see in there. So please fill out that little questionnaire that gives you some ideas of things that you could tell me that you hope you see more of in upcoming boxes, or you can use the blank space at the bottom to tell me if you had a perfect subscription box, what would be in it? That can be anything from the big craft, the little craft, or even the snacks. So let me know about those. You can drop them off at the library. You can text me a picture of it. And I will email out forms when they are ready for the September boxes. So have a good month of August and I hope to see you all in September. <laughs>